by sharing some things about myself to give some insight as to how we each have our own journeys and paths that got us here today. Although many may believe I had it all, with many educational degrees and qualifications, no one knew the internal web of my life that entrapped me. I first began at Cal State University, Long Beach, as a President Scholar, receiving a Fulbright Scholarship to obtain my undergraduate degrees in biochemistry, chemistry, and music performance in percussion. I then pursued my master's degree in percussion performance while earning my elementary and high school teaching credentials, including single subject credentials in chemistry and biology. In pursuing my passions, I traveled to Brazil many times to study and perform music, traveled to Trinidad to compete and perform on steel pan, and was also honored as California State University Long Beach's first Fulbright Research Scholar. I conducted my Fulbright research on the women's role in the development of the steel pan while living on the island nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Upon my return to the U.S., I performed, presented my research, and conducted master classes on steel pan. I continued running a high school steel band music program while composing and arranging music, teaching chemistry and biology full time, teaching piano lessons, working as a lab assistant for a local college's nursing program, proctoring SAT, ACT exams on weekends, tutoring college students in chemistry, and performing with orchestras by night, including as a member of the La Mirada Symphony. I was the confident, world-traveling, music-making, teaching, blissful, energetic Jen that everyone has always known me to be. But little did anyone know that I was slowly collapsing under the oppression of my then marriage. Then, when only three weeks pregnant, I had to face my reality. I made one of the hardest decisions of my life and knew if I had any chance of survival, I would need to move back to Oxnard, to my parents' home, to receive the care and support needed to also deal with a very difficult pregnancy. I was at my deepest low, and family struggles were mounting. <laughs> In the midst of it all, I knew God had given me the gift of academic ability. I decided to take classes with the hope of building my confidence for what would become a long, arduous, five-year court process to fight for myself and most importantly, my daughter and our future. I took paralegal classes at Oxnard College and one day while driving on Victoria Avenue saw the now enrolling sign for the Southern California Institute of Law. It was not until the following year that I decided to sit in on classes. I did not know where this would lead me, except that my underlying goal was to achieve some degree of confidence because I had none left. I was stripped of everything down to my core. Class after class, Kevin just told me to keep on coming. My neighbors told me that God's opened this door and as long as it continued to feel right and unimpeded, that was God's way of saying, just keep on walking. And this is what I did. A couple of years later, here I am today. My daughter, Sierra, is now five years old and will be beginning kindergarten this fall, living with me in Oxnard. The five-year struggle was to reach this goal while envisioning Sierra's future and development with all of the opportunities and experiences that she would have in being with me for her schooling. As recently as April 2019, this five-year chapter, the hike of my life, crested. <laughs> I began in Death Valley, literally and figuratively, climbing through mountains and valleys, 
to reach the top of Half Dome in Yosemite, the most pure and holy of places, and the reason I named my daughter Sierra. The long, grueling journey put my body, mind, my soul to the test. Looking out to the west, with the sun setting and the vast expanse of golden haze, I was finally feeling grounded. My center of gravity, my faith, was holding me to the fractured rock of Half Dome, which is now the footing upon which my new life and journey begins. I am here today with the valley floor view in front of me, reflecting on where I was and all that I have endured and overcome. I will continue through God's open door and am fortunate to be able to humbly walk ahead in grace and with strength. I now can move forward with confidence and be able to impact others positively with the gifts I have been given, whether from my deeply personal experiences or through teaching, and be the mom and person I have always wanted to be. Thank you.